uh, of travelling, we meet the mum and dad, so desperate to teach their kids all about the big wide world, that they took them out of school for a year on a backpacking trip. <laughs> Look at <laughs> They're just arriving back now. <laughs> their incredible story is uh, at... <laughs> Ah, morning. morning. Yes, eleven twenty-five. They did get the odd bus and train, didn't they? As well, I didn't make them walk the whole way around mm -hmm. the world. Sixty thousand miles, I yeah. think they covered. Yeah, something like that. they're lovely. Yeah, the most of us learn about the world in geography lessons at school, but the Pritchard family decided that the best form of education for for their children wasn't from a textbook, but to experience the wonders of the world with their own eyes. Yeah. 29 countries, 31 flights, 47 boat trips, and 21 trains later, and they're back. And uh, there they are, on the way to the studio. <laughs> Look at them, yeah, all carrying their bags. They had to carry those. Hello! <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> Before we meet them, uh, let's take a look at some of their most memorable moments. Someone special, could you be the one? If you're not, then don't get jealous, just keep moving Move on. on. Feet to the beat, so hot the heat, bringing out the shine. So clean, so fresh, a real good cat, so I might make you mine. In the midst of a fierce competition, can I feel from a better position? Cause I know you got my attention, baby, you're my, 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 my superstar. Keep showing me what an experience. Yes. And here they are, the Pritchard family. We've got Mum and Dad, Joan, Rachel, good morning, good morning. and Rowan, Reese, and Jenna, whose faces, I have to say, were a picture when we were just <laughs> showing those. Is that lovely memories brought back for you there? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> and do you remember every single one of those yes. places? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What was the best, yeah. best place that you went to? Costa Rica. Costa Rica? Yeah. Okay, why Costa Rica? Because we went ziplining and we had Rowan's birthday there. Oh, what's birthday in Costa Rica. What's ziplining? Ziplining is where you have a metal bar and you hold on to it and there's a line and you zip across. Is that when you're really high up? <gasps> yeah. How high up were you, do you think? 600 feet. No. Were you scared? No. no. And what was the worst? I didn't go on there. You didn't go on the zip line. You didn't line, go on the zip wire, no. no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Very wise. What was the, there you are, look, look, this is you on the zip wire. That's it. Yep. And uh, and what was the what was the worst thing? Peru. Oh, yeah. oh lots of people like Peru. What what happened to Peru? Well we had this bus ride which was not very pleasant. This was a bus ride through the Andes, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is was this the bus ride that took about twenty hours? Yes. That was the one and yeah. a long time on a bus. Did you like it, Jim? Sick. Who no. was sick? Were you oh, sick? Were you Rather. very ill? Jenna. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't this. Let's have a look at your your route here. We've got a we've got a map here which is a very quick. So you're starting obviously in the UK, off to New York, and then through North America, yeah. down through South America, and then across to New Zealand and uh, Australia, up then through Asia. Unbelievable journey. Uh, you really have look at that Mongolia and Russia at the top there, and back through back. Europe, round all the way around the world. But this was not a snap decision, was it? <laughs> no, not really. We it was something we talked about from being teenagers. Really, we'd, we'd said it, if we ever had kids, it would just be what a fantastic thing to do if we ever got the chance. So I think it's been something that we'd always had in the back of our minds that we would love to do from, from years and years but ago. But it's one thing having the dream to go when you're a couple and saying, wow, wouldn't it be great to see the world? But when you're taking three young children, yes. and it's not as if they're in their teens here. Well, Jenna was only four when you she was, she was four. She yeah. was just four, yes. But that was always the idea that we thought, wouldn't it be fantastic if you're learning about plate tectonics to say, oh, look, here's the Himalayas, mm -hmm. teach them that way. And they've been, it must be said, a joy all the way round. I, I know most parents that watching this this morning saying, listen, I can't get them out of school for a day <laughs> to, you know, go on a holiday to get a cheaper flight. How on earth did you get permission to get them out of school for a whole year? We went to see the school in about May before we left in August and explained what we'd like to do. And the school were incredibly supportive to us. The headmaster straight away said, well, what a valuable experience. We'll do whatever we can to help. 
and provided all the milestones and educational materials we needed to keep educating them ourselves. So you had to do your schoolwork along the way then, did you? Yeah, yeah. we had big books. Not much. We had to Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when mum and dad remember <laughs> <laughs> I think your headmaster might be watching, so we better not yeah. say that. Were, were there any times, I mean, it just looks fantastic, and as Philip said, it's something that we all talk about and think, mm. oh, I'd love to do that one day, what an experience. But were there any moments when you thought, oh, I don't think we should have brought them here, and, and I, I worried about the environment maybe you were in? Or Yeah, the, the one time when we really thought, oh, this probably isn't was Borneo, we, we did a jungle trek in the afternoon. Okay. Um, and I was carrying Jenna, and uh, she'd fallen asleep. They fall asleep absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the jungle. And I was just shifting her weight to make her more comfortable, make me more comfortable. She screamed out loud and um, complained that she'd, she was hurting everywhere. So I pulled up her jumper, and she was just covered in leeches all around <gasps> her stomach, oh. thighs, bottom. And uh, I don't know how. We'd taken all the precautions, wrapped her trousers and everything. So they must have fallen down from above. But that was the point where you thought... And what did you call them? Jenna, what did you, these things, what were they called? Mm -hmm. Sucky, Sucky some... worms. What are they called? Sucky worms. Sucky worms. Sucky worms. Sucky worms. <laughs> you said, don't take me back into those woods because I don't like the sucky worms. <laughs> you did. Uh, and what about, did, did, did any, of, any of you get sick from eating up yeah. tummies? And... We got we sick. We did. Oh, did these you? guys <laughs> didn't get sick at all. <laughs> you didn't get sick. The whole they way round, none of them were ill. There was one place, Mongolia, where we were in the middle of nowhere. We were oh. actually out yeah. on the step in Mongolia, living in a gur, and Jen got tonsillitis. But again, mm. all of these things, they're easily overcome. We found a doctor, no problem antibiotics to sort it out straight away. Yeah. Who was it that went for the walk in, uh, in Mongolia? <laughs> Who went for a walk? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> went for a walk in Mongolia. And, uh, and it's very, very flat where you were, wasn't it? So did you just, what did you do, just set off? No, um, went up this nearby mountain. Really? Yes. Did you? The only hill in Mongolia, <laughs> and he walked up it. Just on your own. Listen, when, can we just get a little close-up of Reese here? Show us your wobbly tooth, because he's very proud of it. No, do it with your tongue. Do it with your tongue. Wow. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, on, that's on its way out of the <laughs> Did you, I mean, obviously, the, 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 you read every day that it would appear in the newspapers, on the news, that the world is a terrifying place. And mm. did you, you, you seem to have found it much friendlier than, I, than we would be led to be believed. I think we did. I mean, I think we set out with an attitude, we believed that it was a much friendlier place than you're told in the newspapers. Mm. But our experience. We, we've said to the kids a number of times on the way around, how many nasty people have you met? And how many people have you met that helped you, that went out of their way to mm. help you or be kind to you? Yeah. And, and the answer was always that nine out of ten people, more than that, were actually very friendly and helped you. And, and how, now you're back, how are you ad adapting back? Because you've been back about a month, haven't yes. you? Yes. How are you adapting back to really very ordinary life. <laughs> I was quite nervous about it. Um, I thought that we'd have real problems. Rowan was talking about having to camp in the garden or go around <laughs> to her friends because staying more than two nights in one place was so it's unusual. Cool, yeah. But we've been so lucky. We've got such great friends where we live in a small Welsh town. We've been so busy yeah. getting the kids back into school, trying to I wake them up. I suppose you must, up. if you've been together all that time, you must miss them. Yeah, we did Do. miss them when they went back to school. It was very strange to have an empty house. Yeah. It was very odd. And would you want to do it again, somewhere else? Absolutely, yeah. love to. Yeah. 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 We yeah. would yeah. Do, it do it again, again. drop of a hat. I think all of us would. And have you learned to say anything in some foreign languages? Yes. Yeah. Have you? Could tell us something. Then. That would be needed. Okay. <laughs> Which language? <laughs> Any Ooh, language you know. like. You pick. choose. Uh, Can you say, I'm Reese in Mandarin? Or Jerry's. Yeah. Okay. Can you say thank you in Mandarin, right? Shisha. Sh Shisha. Well, Shisha to you all. Thank well you for coming to see us. Fantastic adventure. Yeah. And uh, still to come this morning.